For over 45 years, it has been God Loves Kids' honor to be a vessel of righteousness, shining the glory of Jesus Christ as our light to the world. We have never shied away from our mandate from the Lord. We help the neediest children in the world find hope for a new beginning and a better story. With almost 18 missions originally planted by our organization now considered self-sustaining, we have a history of effective, transformative missions targeted at burning bush experience locales that have effectively changed not just the lives, but the very culture of these communities. None of this could have happened without the miraculous support of our sponsors and partners, people like you. Today, our missions in Uganda, Nepal, Honduras, and Nagaland continue that tradition. Nowhere more so right now than in Lutembe, Uganda. It has been our privilege to be God's transformative hand in this once oppressed, now thriving community. In the last year alone, we transformed a campus we acquired in 2015 into a community meeting point with fresh, clean well water available to anyone who needs it and rebuilt roofs with gutters added to collect rainwater for the gardens. From organic gardens, to rabbits, to chickens, to compost and back to the once dead red soil, to fertile earth for crops. We have eggs for protein, enough for every student every day. We grow vegetables organically, cultivating the soil, teaching lessons from the Bible about preparing to receive fruit, some 30-fold, some 60, some 100. Our rabbits are doing what rabbits do. There's also the ability to sell and use rabbits for trade. Then we have Zoe and Rock. The South African Borbel is one excellent guard dog. We have two, love at first sight. And soon, well, remember the rabbits? This will also be a lucrative business venture for our students who will learn dog breeding, care and training. In time, we hope to make Phillips Career School International our 19th self-sustaining ministry. With community outreach like the ones that take place at New Generations Church on the PCSI campus, we know the people are behind us. From the bright light of God working in a community for over 35 years, to spiritually one of the darkest places on earth. Since 2001, God Loves Kids has been sponsoring children in Nepal. For those of you who don't know, it is all but illegal to be Christian in this country. The government allows Buddhist temples, Islamic mosques, and even Jewish synagogues, but churches are illegal. We know because God Loves Kids sponsored a successful church in one of its girls' homes for eight years that has now been forced to close its doors after the constitution of Nepal was changed to include the banning and persecution of the church as a state mandate. In 2015, an earthquake rocked the country and almost overnight, sex trafficking in the country skyrocketed, going from 7,000 to over a million girls a year by the end of 2015. God showed us our mandate, and we began to rescue girls. We briefly became a relief organization, building a home and taking in wayward girls in danger of being taken and sold to a terrible fate in the world of trafficking children. The home was built beyond all expectations, and the finishing touches are being applied so that the girls have a safe, beautiful home to live in as a family until they're married. In Honduras, on the fishing island of Utila Cay, the school continues to prosper as new interest from businesses on Utila's mainland see what God showed Phil and Bess years ago. In 2018, God Loves Kids made a May missions trip and had an incredible time. We fed 100 needy families, we added ESL curriculum and six computers to the little school. We ministered to the mayor and also got to love on some kids. This is an excellent missions trip for first timers and we plan to go back the second week of June, 2020. Please ask us how you can be an ambassador for God Loves Kids. Our mission in Nagaland needs your prayers. Please pray for a change in the government of India so that we can once again take teams to minister in this model school and ministry complex. Nagaland represents one of God Loves Kids' greatest success stories in our history. It includes not only a school considered one of the best private schools in Nagaland, but also a 16,000 foot ministry center our goal for next year is to add another floor to maximize the capacity of the school. The campus raises chickens, pigs, and fish that is eaten on campus and sold to the community. What a blessing it has been to be part of such a transformative ministry. What a blessing you have been to walk with us. In the future, we have plans to continue to develop these missions. We will seek burning bush opportunities in foreign lands across the third world. We will find children. We will continue to be a father to the fatherless, a home for the lost, a family for the unloved. We will continue to help the neediest children in the world find hope for a new beginning and a better story. With your help, in God's will, by the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we will succeed.
Thank you for your prayers and support.